So in the evolution of Parkinson's disease, it actually starts usually 30 years before the first tremor starts to occur. And the model is called BRAC staging. So BRAC staging starts off usually the first thing that people experience is constipation. That constipation turns into shoulder pain. So as we move from having depositions happen in the myenteric plexus and then to the cardiac plexus, and then it travels up and it'll go through the olfactory bulb and people will experience anosmia or lack of smell or changes in their smell. And then from there, it moves on up into the brain, into the basal ganglia. And this is where we start to see the first signs of bradykinesia. Bradykinesia, we see like where you kind of stop blinking. You'll start to open your mouth kind of have that vacant look. Those are the first things that occur. And then we see changes in the way you walk. So your gait gets slower. Your feet start to shuffle a little bit because it's easier to keep two feet on the ground than one foot on the ground. So you'll try to keep two feet on the ground, which turns into shuffling. And then we'll see stiffness start to develop in your limbs or they start to cogwheel. These are all types of bradykinesia where the movement slows down. And then after all that's happened in that 30 year progression, we actually start to move into the tremors that develop. And the tremors are gonna be remergent tremors specifically in Parkinson's, they usually start on one side. And if you have someone move to a new position, they'll stop and then it'll start to come out again. And these are really helpful features because a lot of people that get diagnosed with Parkinson's disease, there's an overlap with other syndromes that we see in brain injury, concussion, autonomic problems that kind of have these features like Parkinson's disease has, but it may not be the same progression, which means we may be able to actually jump in front of it before it progresses or look at it like a different condition that affects similar pathways in the brain.